Welcome to Sofia. Could you introduce yourself, please? Sure. My name is Michael Poor. I am the worldwide business developer for Lenovo. Uh, Lenovo. We are living in a world of uh, very big uh, competition, and it's fast. How will a smartphone or tablet using the product tango technology that you plan to introduce attract me as a user? What will it offer, and that other top models do not? Well, first let's start with your first question a little bit about Lenovo. So Lenovo is the number one PC manufacturer in the world for the last few years. One of the key things that we like to do is what we call innovate, and that's what we're going to continue to do. So tablets and phones, everything's the same these days. So you get the same kind of functionality, the same kind of oomph that goes in with making a tablet or a phone. But one thing that we want to change is that innovation has always been about Lenovo. So we will change that in a tablet and phone by creating something new and something exciting so that people will look at it and go, okay, that is what we're looking for, that's what the future is going to be for telephones, for tablets. Could you tell me a little more about uh, the project, about Project Tango? What exactly it is and uh, what are your future plans? Who are you partnering with? So one of the key things is that uh, Lenovo being the number one PC manufacturer in the world and Google being the number one software manufacturer in the world came together to develop a hardware and software combination. So Google designed Tango about four years ago, but they never made it to into fruit because they're not a hardware manufacturer. That's why we partnered with them. Hardware manufacturer, software manufacturer came together to create the Tango project. And when do we expect to see product Tango on the market for the mass consumer? So you guys probably know a little bit about Tango as it's been in the public eye for quite a while. It will probably be launched this holiday season and you will see it really come to life as Google continue to announce more about it and bring and Lenovo bring more knowledge about it to the market. It is expected that augmented reality will enter more extensively in our lives. What exactly will be the everyday use and how will it make our lifestyle better? That's a really good question. We can start with the idea of augmented reality and what it's doing today. So in today's society, we try to figure things out in terms of augmented reality by using these glasses and wearing these kinds of things. What Project Tango does is it actually changes the way we use those kinds of technologies. For example, if you want to go into playing video games wise, you can actually change the way you play video games. Right now, kids are doing this all day long in a video game. With this kinds of technology, they will be up on their feet and they'll be moving around with the technology in their hand. For things like uh, navigation, right now, you use Google Maps. It's a great technology, takes you from point A to point B. But when you get there, how do you find the restaurant if it's in a big mall? This is where Tango will come in handy, where you can actually use it to find step by step how to get to the to the restaurant you're looking for. How will this 3D mapping and positioning in real time be integrated in application? What exactly will be the everyday use of this new technology? Well, like I just said, indoor navigation will be important. Let's give you an example. You go to Las Vegas. There's hotels everywhere. All of a sudden, you you have a friend that's going to meet you at the Bellagio. You're sitting over here at the Luxor. The restaurants in Bellagio. You take a taxi to Bellagio, how do you find where this restaurant is? That's where Tango comes in, it will walk you step by step to the restaurant that you're looking for. What else, what other uses can we find for Project Tango? Could you give some examples to it? Sure. So I just gave you an example of just mapping. <coughs> mapping. But another one is, for example, let's say you go into a shopping mall and you want to find clothing that fits you. You can do a full search and it'll tell you how to get there. Once you get there, you can actually look through your, your, your phone or tablet and you can see things that are on sale with, with virtual tags. You can you can play games if your kids want to in that store where it brings techno where it brings artificial viewing AR into your reality. So while you're shopping, your kids can play games right in front of you. Wonderful. And what do you say to our readers to make them believe that Project Tango is the future of mobile technology? Right. Well, one of the things we talk about when we're talking about AR VR technology is that currently the only way to really experience it is to actually wear these huge goggles and glasses and go into big machines to really drive it. Imagine in the future you don't need that anymore. All you do is you have your phone and you can see every 
everything in the augmented world with just your phone or tablet. That's where the future is going to be. For example, you can go into a bike shop and you can create your own bike, virtual size of a real bike, and then purchase that bike a few days later because they made it for you the way you want it. That's what it's all about. The future is usage scenario as in shopping, in gaming, in mapping. And uh, Lenovo has already developed uh, such units that can be used with uh, the project? Well, I can't really tell you what we have, <laughs> but what I can tell you is that this technology will be available for you in the consumer market in this year. Wonderful. That is very good news. Thank you very much. Thank you.